The United States is now holding more than 19,000 immigrants in detention. Last week, we talked to a woman who literally wrote the book on detention camps, Andrea Pitzer, the author of One Long Night. And she predicted what we would see next. I expect to see contagious diseases, malnutrition in some cases, and uh, mental health crises. I mean, we're going to have that all very soon. There might be reports already coming of that. Lo and behold, there's new reporting today from CNN about exactly that, with more than 5,000 migrants quarantined because of exposure to mumps or chickenpox. That's what happens when you have mass detention of civilians, a sprawling and growing camp system lacking resources, funds, personnel, and certainly lacking in compassion, given everything we've seen. And that gives rise to conditions so bad, a university professor who went to see things for himself described one detention area as a, quote, human dog pound. Here with me now, Bob Moore, the reporter who wrote that story about the so-called human dog pound. Bob, you've been doing great reporting down there. You interviewed a New Mexico professor who went to some facility. Where did he go and what did he see? Uh, yeah, his name is Dr. Neil Rosendorf, a professor at New Mexico State University. And after the release of a report uh, uh, earlier this month uh, about uh, overcrowded conditions at a bridge facility here in El Paso, he went down to sort of see what he could find for himself. And he wound up looking for Border Patrol agents that he wanted to talk to. And uh, because of some massive security failures, was able to kind of wander around uh, the, this facility and without finding any Border Patrol agents, he instead stumbled on this incredible sight of 150 to 200 men who were kept outdoors. Uh, the temperature around at that time was around 99 degrees. And they told him that they'd been kept outside uh, for a month, uh, had not been allowed to shower in that time, and were still wearing the clothes uh, well, that they were wearing when they were detained. Wait a second. You're saying that he came upon 100, 200 men outside in, in near El Paso, is that right? In, in, right in downtown El Paso. In downtown El Paso, 200 men outside in 99 degree heat for a month. They've been kept in those conditions. The pictures he took, the tarps and the chain link fence. Yes, and, and, you, and you can see the, uh, the distress on uh, the faces of some of the men. They also told him that they weren't well fed, they weren't well cared for. Uh, uh, and you know, this isn't the first time we've seen people detained outside in, in El Paso, but the, uh, the Customs and Border Protection officials had said in early April that they'd stopped doing that, but apparently they resumed doing it uh, again sometime in late April. Well, that's important because you, I think, were one of the reporters who broke that story about the outdoor detention. Um, if I'm not mistaken, and you had firsthand reporting and, and photos of it. And quickly soon thereafter, they basically cleared it out, if, I, if I'm correct. Now it seems like it's back. That's right. The one difference this time is it appears it's only uh, adults that they're detaining. That there do not appear to be any families uh, being detained outside right now. What is you? What have you seen generally in your reporting on how the system right now under the Trump administration is dealing with migrants who are coming seeking asylum? It's broken. Uh, the uh, the agents themselves uh, are are under distress. The migrants are, are under distress. Um, uh, you've got Customs and Border Protection and ICE pointing fingers at each other over who's responsible for all of this. Uh, it's it's just a, a system that's completely broken at this point. Do you have concerns about the health and welfare of these folks? Uh, absolutely. Uh, uh, you, the temperatures are only going to get warmer in El Paso. Um, uh, these men have managed to sort of pitch some shelters up over their heads, but that only keeps them out of the direct sunlight. Uh, so they're going to be exposed to this extreme heat. So you're going to see uh, wow. dehydration, heat stroke, other problems like that. All right, Bob Moore, thank you for your great reporting on this. Please keep it up and come back. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.